It's an early start at the Salt Church headquarters in Bomaderry, a small town a few kilometres north of Nowra on the New South Wales south coast. About 30 volunteers are heading to the Sassafras Nut Farm, half an hour out of town, to help with the harvest. Volunteer Shane Clark is eager to get started. So how are you feeling about harvest? Looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've heard so much about the buzz and that kind of stuff, so yeah, looking forward to getting in and getting the hands dirty again. Sally Campbell, counsellor and caseworker with the church's charity, is coordinating the trip for these first-time pickers. So my role here at the nut farm is every Wednesday at the moment, I, my husband and I bring the bus, the salt bus out with anyone that like, would like to participate in the day program. Sometimes we might have a full bus load, it just depends on who'd like to come out for the day. Walnuts and chestnuts have been grown on the 48 hectare farm for more than 30 years. The Salt Care Charity bought the property 12 months ago. Charity founder Peter Dover says getting to the first harvest hasn't been easy. I suppose we're feeling a little nervous. Last year was a washout because of the rain. All the processes are in place, we've got our new tractor, our new um, harvesting equipment, so it's all, everything's ready to go. Just, just waiting to see what will happen. After a drier summer, the trees are now looking much healthier. But the effects of last year's La Nina weather system are still being felt. We have Phytophthora, which is water-based disease in some of our trees, uh, and that is definitely because we've had so much rain. Um, but there's a little bit of blight in our walnuts, so that is an airborne disease, so it's a hit and miss. <laughs> the trials and tribulations of learning to farm nuts are about more than a profit for this dedicated team. When the farm came on the market last year, the charity saw a unique opportunity to use agriculture to help people work through mental health issues. But it's about having a farm that is sustainable, that is a working farm, that is worked by people that are struggling with mental health issues that can come and work, create a, a harvest and heal. The farm has also started small scale pig farming. The pigs are fed chestnuts, which means they can attract higher prices at market. Eventually, Sally wants to introduce equine therapy as well. Horses really need us to be our genuine selves. They're always communicating with us. And I think what I'm learning is they can really help people get in touch with what's going on inside. SALT was established five years ago to help people struggling with mental illness, homelessness and hardship. This is our little packing room. It's funded by donations from the church congregation, the community and a small amount of government funding. So adding a farm was a big step, especially when times were tough. Because of the problems we've had with the rain and the fires, we've had to really come back and prune hard and start working on getting it healthy again. Now it is healthy this year, we just want to make sure at the end of the year it's healthier. The previous owners gave plenty of advice before they left and farm managers Beck and Brendan Gamage live on site to take care of the day-to-day -day operations. The benefits I see in that is just having people that can engage in a process like from working soil to planting a seed to watching it grow, helping it grow fertilising it and, and then reaping the benefit at the end of harvest and you know I think that really transfers to your life and you know making sure your soil and your foundation's good and, and working up from there and which then produces good fruit so yeah I think it's, it's a great process to see people engage with, with working the ground and getting their hands dirty. This includes harvesting the nuts and processing them. They're sorted by size before being packed and sold. So far, this year's crop looks like a good one. 
but it's producing more than that. It's bringing a sense of purpose and calm to people from all walks of life. Shane has complex PTSD and was self-medicating until he discovered agriculture. Being out here and getting in and doing what I call honest hard work um, is just the yeah, main therapy for me. Sally Campbell says the farming program has big benefits for those working among the trees. Oh, I think they're very important, yeah, crucial to being able to get onto that path of healing. Yeah, to be able to just have someone beside them to talk to if they want to talk, or just to be. Since coming out here to the farm, that has actually helped with the chaos that does go up in my head. And it's just that peace and quiet that I don't get in town, that I come out here, no matter how my week has been, you know, or weekend, I get here and it just washes off. It's just calming and healing. This year's nut crop is expected to yield about 10 tonnes. They'll be sold at the Sydney market and here at this roadside stall. All the proceeds will be used to support further programs on the farm, but some nuts won't make it out the gate. The charity is already thinking about how to add value to the product. They're exploring options like partnering with a local chocolate company and different roasted nut styles. Chestnuts in particular are also popular on the overseas market. There's a lot of culture and um, passion around chestnuts particularly. Lots of different nationalities use them for different things. So Asian cultures would use them for soups and stir fries and things like that. Italians, Macedonians, Greeks, uh, they like to use them roasted but also in um, cakes and um, desserts and things like that. The farm won't break even this season. That is a longer term goal. Peter Dover has moved to the farm and hopes to eventually turn it into a residential retreat for people with mental health problems. But for now, the focus will be on a successful first harvest and making sure they're producing a quality product.